Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome to another video with me where I'm going to share with you my love of Lavinia stamps in my favourite colours, blues. I'm using a blended background of Distress Inks, then I'm stamping with VersaFine Claire's on the top and I'm used white paint to create some interest and depth in the picture. So, the colours that I'm going to be using, Tumbled Glass, Mermaid Lagoon and Blueprint Sketch. So you can see the Tumbled Glass is closest to the moon where there's more light, then the Mermaid Lagoon is a bit further out and furthest away from the moon I've got Blueprint Sketch. For my stamping I'm using Twilight VersaFine Clair and then to create some extra interest in some of the drapey bits of the Spanish moss I'm using Paradise. So those are my colours. I'm using a normal A6 card which I've folded in half and I've got a piece of paper in between it to protect it. I'm using one of the circles from the Lavinia circle mask set and you've seen me use these before. I got you get three circles in it and then two spaces. It's just a it's a fabulous, fabulous set. So we're going to be using that. The stamps that we're going to be using, this one is called the Fairy Couple. The dots are actually called dots and it's a pound stamp. Then as I said, this drapey foliage here is called Spanish Moss and you will have seen me use it a lot of times because I just love it. You get two pieces in the set. I'm just going to be using the bigger piece today. And then this gorgeous stamp up here is called a Fairy Bonnet Set. Again, you get two stamps in the set. We're going to be using the smaller stamp today. So we'll get started. I'm going to be using my sponges for blending today. Uh, it looks as though I've eaten a piece out of this one, but as I've picked it off, that's what's happened there. You can see mine are well used. Someone said to me once, they were doing a workshop with me and they said, oh, I, I think I need to get some new blending sponges. And I went, no, use whatever you've got, because the more seasoned they are, the more depth you've got of the ink that's already in the sponges. So I'm more than happy when mine are more seasoned. I just wash mine in the top in the washing machine. I put them in the bag of smalls and I put it on a normal wash and then I just dry them on a tea towel on the work surface and that's what I do that every couple of months. So we're going to get started. I'm going to use tumbled glass first and I'm just going to hold my moon in place. You can if you wish glue it down. There are repositionable glues that you can buy but I'm more than happy just to use my hands to hold it in place. I'm going to use another piece of paper on top so that I haven't got my oily fingers all over it. And I am moving this sponge in a circular motion. I start off the card, as you can see. I can start off the card and keep it moving on. Tricks here, making sure that your sponge is well inked, making sure that you've got lovely card. I'm using Multifarious Cardstock by Lavinia. And I'm just keeping this moving, always starting off the card, always starting from the edge and moving in. Now, because I don't want to bore you, <laughs> with you watching me blend but I do take my time and that is the key some people have said how do you get that lovely smooth blend and the answer is I am take my time I do it slowly I work with oxides because they blend a bit better easier I keep the sponge moving in a circular motion and I use good quality card that's all you need to remember so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to blend my tumbled glass all around the edge of this card. Closest to the moon, it's just going to be 
a light covering of the tumbled glass. Then as we move out, I'll move to the Mermaid Lagoon, again starting from the outside in, and then finally getting this glow of blueprint sketch round the outside. I absolutely love this colour for creating that moonlight look. So you can see as I blend backwards and forwards with the colours, sometimes I will pick up one of the previous colours that I've used just to create that smooth look over the colours. So there we have our lovely blended background. It doesn't have to be too smooth because of course the night sky is not seamless. So, but by using this circular motion, you get sort of these wispy bits that could look like clouds on a night sky. So now we're gonna do our stamping. First of all, I'm gonna take my fairy bonnet set, the small set, twilight. I'm gonna ink up my stamp. And I'm going to start from the bottom, just inking up my card. You will note that when I put my moon on my card, I put it more to the top than the bottom. No reason other than I just like the proportions that that gives. Light tapping here. And I've placed these three flowers quite close together and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So that's my fairy bonnets and now I'm going to bring my Spanish moss in and drape it from the top. I always start on the side and I'm going to alternate the heights of my fairy, of my Spanish moss, sorry. <laughs> I ink up my stamp every single time at that. I use it and you can see that I've brought some of this Spanish moss falling into the moon.
Then to add a bit of extra interest, I'm going to put Paradise. I'm just going to clean off a bit of that darker twilight ink and I'm going to put Paradise very randomly along the top. There we go. Then I'm going to take my fairy couple and ink them up with twilight twilight is a very dark dark blue color as you can see but not quite black aren't they gorgeous those two and then the last thing that I'm going to do is take my dots stamp and using some white paint. You could use a white, white ink pad or any paint that you've got. I just like this paint because it's quite um, solid. And I'm just going to, using a paintbrush, pop it onto my work mat. And I'm going to use the paint straight onto my stamp. If you ever do this, you really want to clean your stamp as quickly after using it as you can because you don't want it to stain your stamp. So to clean my stamps, I honestly, whether it's paint or ink, I just use water. That was water out of a spray bottle and a cloth and I clean my stamps that way. I don't ever use washing up liquid, detergent, any specialised stamp cleaner at all. And there we have it. There we have our fairy couple in the moonlight making magic. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to see what you make. Bye for now.